um, just quite a short video today. Haven't been on YouTube for freaking ages, and I'm sorry if anyone's getting a bit peeved. Uh, basically, the breakout's still kind of going on. It's kind of finished now. I'm kind of over it. But anyway, um, I thought I'd update you because I got a new tattoo. And I thought I'd tell you about it and why I got it and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to get to it. So it's on my left wrist. It says, let it be. And as a swallow, I'll include a picture now. And Let It Be, as lots of you know, is uh, lyrics from the song Let It Be by the Beatles. Um, I remember when I was a little kid, like that song being played in the house every now and then, like it wasn't really common. I just remember like that from my childhood, which is sweet. Um, and it kind of speaks a lot to me because, I don't know, I've been going through a lot of shit with this breakup. Like I've been getting into some old bad habits. Um, which I've talked about in the past in my scars video, which is somewhere on here, somewhere on here. So I added to those scars, which isn't great, um, but I stopped that now, and hopefully I'm on the road to recovery, so that's brilliant. I also got a swallow of it because I freaking love swallows, I've got three on my ribs already, but the swallow to me symbolises like freedom and so I was in a relationship for three years, and for the majority of it, it was pretty damn good. Um, some aspects of it weren't great, and I kind of felt a bit caged in, like, yeah. And now suddenly being single, I suddenly feel like I've been like released into the world. So, yeah, freedom. And the Let It Be is on my wrist where I have my self-harm scars, I'm not sure you, they're basically there, you won't be able to see it. And it's to remind me if ever I get really angry, upset, whatever, and I go to do it, I look at it and I see let it be and I'm like, whoa, well, step back. And just remind myself to let it be, let whatever's happening happen and to just chill the fuck out, all right? <laughs> because nothing I do to myself or do to anyone around me is going to change what's happening. So just chill out. Um, yeah, it's a really positive tattoo for me. It's in quite an obvious place, which I'm not usually happy about. Like, I usually quite like to keep them hidden. There have been a couple of questions about the tattoo on my ankle of a D. I got this. I thought it, I don't regret it. But I don't want to keep it. So I'm glad I got it at the time because I was like deeply in love and I was happy and... I thought I'd be with him forever, and since then something quite traumatic happened, and I'm not gonna cry. So that that happened, and now I just wanna change it into something else. Change it, <sighs> change it into something positive, so that when I see it, I I see something positive rather than seeing something which reminds me of a time when I was really happy, and yeah, so. That will be covered up in the near future, and yeah, please. I had so many messages when I got it done saying how much I'd regret it and whatever. And I think if my relationship had ended on normal terms, like we'd just fallen out, we didn't get along anymore, it, say even if he cheated or something, I think I could live with it. But the way it ended, I don't, I, I can't see that every day of my life. I just, I can't see it, it destroys me. <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it short before I cry because I'm that pathetic. And I will see you all soon. Okay, so bye. <laughs>